It is Wednesday, June 13th, 2012. Full sun here in the garden. Beautiful day. This is our sweet marjoram. It is also known as knotted marjoram. In Latin, it is called Organa Majorana. It is the best variety for flavor. Often used as a bouquet garni in French cooking, it is a tender perennial with sweet pine and citrus flavors. Here we have our sage, also known as garden sage. Latin name for it is Salvia officinalis. It has a slight peppery flavor. In modern medicine, has discovered that large amounts of sage can make you sweat. This is my raspberry bush. In Latin, it's called Rubus ideus from the family Rosace. It has valuable amounts of vitamin C, riboflavin, and niacin. These raspberry leaves can be ground up and processed into a medicine that treats cold sores, canker sores, and uh, even gingivitis. I got a nice raspberry there. I think I'm going to try that today. Some more coming in here. Here we have my honeydew plants. In Latin, honeydew is called Cucumis milo from the family Curcubitaceae. I got uh, two honeydew plants here. My other one well, that was there it has died. No honeydew there. I'm going to have to plant something there. I ended up clearing all this foliage that was growing in on the fence. So now my honeydews get some sun. This here is my pumpkin patch. Last week we noticed there were some flower buds coming in there. Uh, this, is, this variety is called Curcubita maxima from the family Curcubitaceae as well. They are very high in vitamin A. Of the seven continents on our planet Earth, only Antarctica is the only continent that can't produce pumpkins. Chris Stevens holds the record with an 1810 pound pumpkin. Now, as you can see here, we have some pumpkin flowers and some more buds. So we'll have uh, some pumpkins on here soon. Notice over here in my back pumpkin, there's a flower bud starting there as well. This here is my butternut squash plant. There's no flowers yet. Latin, it's called Kirkabita pipo. There's five varieties of butternut squash. Butternut, early butternut, Kentucky field, snack jack, and what I have here, Walden butternut. I got seven potato plants here. They're all starting to come up all these little tiny potato plants. That's my larger tomato plant right there. I planted that May 1st. In Latin, potatoes are called Solanum tuberosum from the family Solanaceae. Now you can see here from my older May 1st tomato plant, we've got some flowering starting here. So I'm going to have some potato seeds very soon. Now, potatoes are rich in magnesium, carbohydrates, potassium, and moderate amounts of vitamin B and C. This is my cucumber row. I have three cucumber plants here. These are the cucumber plants here. In Latin, they're called Cucumis sativus, false from the family Curcubitaceae. In 2010, the World Farm has produced over 60 million tons of cucumber, with China leading, producing the most at 40.7 million tons. I have beets, radishes, and cauliflower growing here. Beets are biennials. In Latin, they're called Beta vulgaris, from the family Chinopetaceae. 
Modern medicine says that a glass of beet juice can control cancer. Here's my cauliflower from the in Latin it's called Brassica oleracea from the family Brassicaceae. It is modern medicine has discovered that uh, cauliflower can reduce the risk of colon and stomach cancer. Now I have here, if you look very closely, I have little radishes starting here. Let's move the, move the light there. You can see that little radish there. Here I have my broccoli in the planter here. It is, in Latin it is called Brassia oleracea, from the family Brassicae. Now I put it in the planter because there's many pests that go after broccoli, like cow caterpillars, aphids, pollen beetles, and even pigeons. Now here we have my tomato. I'm very big on tomatoes, so I got lots of tomato plants here. I tied up all my tomato plants this morning. Uh, we have our Black Prince tomatoes, no flowers yet. Cream sausage tomatoes, white tomatoes. Flame tomatoes, Kellogg's breakfast, extra large yellow tomatoes, and my Sicilian saucers, which are extra large red tomatoes. Tied all those up this morning. Now we have uh, on our green bean rattlesnakes, we have new flowers starting. So these have gone to flower. There will be beans here soon. All of them have gone flowering. Over on my yellow bean plant, we have beans. Beans starting. So those were flowering last week. Now we got beans. So this is good. My uh, Romano bean plant has got flower buds. No beans yet. My bush beans have got flower buds. No beans yet. I, uh, my pea plants are doing just fine, and my peppers got a few leaves on them, Scotch bonnet pepper, orange bell, orange bell, coriander growing in a planter here, and oregano, over here we have our crest, this is all gone to seed all flowered and gone to seed. We have our upside down tomato plants. These are purple plum tomatoes. Got two of them. This is my uh, herb box. I got spinach which has gone to seed, curly parsley, and chives. Use that for salads, garnishes, all sorts of things. Here we have a, a mixed planter with some sweet basil, chilies, and cucumber. Over here is the dill. This is mammoth dill. It's growing quite nicely. Here we have our planters last week where nothing was growing. Now we have some Swiss chard coming up. My edible flowers, still no edible flowers. And in this planter, I planted some Grand Rapids leaf lettuce. It's starting to come up now nicely, too. That's the garden update for today. Tune in next week.